Well, there's a major effort underway uh, by the American Heart Association under the leadership of uh, Dr. Alice Jacobs and many of her uh, friends and colleagues. It's a several year effort that's been underway to really try to create a nationwide system for heart attack care, for myocardial infarction care that parallels our trauma care system. There have been a series of conferences and now we've had a series of papers uh, that have been published in circulation that are really leading the way towards speeding the time to definitive treatment in patients who are having a heart attack in which the one of the arteries to the heart is totally occluded. We call this a ST segment elevation myocardial infarction or STEMI. This is the type of heart attack that needs um, immediate therapy to get the best outcome. The American Heart Association and many of its partners, including the American College of Cardiology, are really helping us to um, define how EMS systems, emergency departments, and hospitals really should organize themselves into STEMI care systems to expedite the reopening of these blocked arteries. Once our EMS teams get there, it's vital that they have the right equipment and the right training to help identify that a person really is having a heart attack. And by that I mean um, what's critical is the electrocardiogram. What we're seeing in this country is a rapid um, deployment of 12 lead EKG capability in some of our uh, busier EMS systems. And we're strongly encouraging uh, that this process of um, deployment uh, take place as rapidly and as efficiently as possible. Because what we're seeing is that if a paramedic unit can do a 12 lead EKG in the field and can determine that a person really is having a heart attack and they have a blocked artery, they can sound the alert to the receiving hospital. And in turn, that receiving hospital can get their teams ready and waiting for that patient to arrive, significantly shortening the time from the blockage occurring in the artery until that artery gets opened back up again. In communities like uh, Minnesota, uh, where there is a very large uh, portion of the state that's organized into a STEMI uh, care system, they've seen a dramatic decrease in the death rate from heart attack from about six or seven percent down to about one percent for this entire region of the state we've never ever seen anything like this before so i think it's really indicating that we're on the right track the american heart association and its guidelines are really leading the way <laughs>